Hello everybody, in this Rhino basic surface creation video demo, I would like to talk about the sweep one rail command. Okay, let's start. Okay, let me build the rail curve first. Okay, now I want to build a cross section and I want to use this circle around curve. So click on this, place the circle here. Okay, got this. Okay, now I can uh, demonstrate the sweep one rail. So I go to the surface creation toolbar and select this sweep one rail. So it asks me to select rail. So this is my rail. Select cross section, I only have one. So this, enter, enter one more time and I'll be able to get the surface in the process. So what happened was that this uh, cross section is being moved along the rail and in the process, a surface is being created. Okay. Okay, the sweep one rail command can uh, allow you to have more than one cross section. Okay. So let me place another cross section. Okay, I want this cross section to be placed at the end of uh, this curve. Okay, to do that, you can use this command orient perpendicular to curve. So ask me select object to orient. So this is the object I want to orient. And then it asks me your base point. My, the base point is the center of this star. Okay, make sure that the object snap center mode is being turned on. When you hover close to the edge of the star, you can see that the cursor snaps to the center of the star. So click on this. Then it asks me for the orientation curve. So click on this and drag the star to the end. Yep. Okay. Okay, now let's proceed to do the sweep one rail. So I click on this, select rail. So this is my rail. Cross section, I can have two cross section, one and two, enter. Okay, now it prompt me to input and adjust the seam point, okay? So the seam point currently are uh, 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 at this location, that means to say, uh, if the surface is being created, the this end will eventually end up here. So if you want a change in the location of the seam point, you can click and drag. Okay, so maybe I just turn off this tool, so I can drag it to let's say here. Okay, so let's press enter, and you can see that this location slowly move. To end up here okay yeah you can see now that yeah we created a new uh, surface using the sweep one rail okay the sweep one rail can allow you to have more than two cross sections okay you can have many cross sections uh, in between here as well okay for example, uh, let me just uh, put another circle around curve over here. Okay. So place it over here. Yeah, so now I have like three cross sections. And select rail. Cross section one, two, two, three, enter. Enter. Okay, so you can see that this form is slightly different from the previous one because uh, we have another cross section in the center to constrain the the, the shape at this um, this position okay okay that's all for this demo see you around bye